art in one point perspective. So you can see in this assignment, we're taking one of the words, create, dream, sports, or candy, and you do those letters in one point perspective. That means the diagonals go to the same point, not off in different directions. And then after that, we need objects to go with that word. So create, I have a bunch of art stuff. But if you have a very specific artistic vision, like maybe you're into anime and you want to put anime with it, that's fine. If it's sports and you want sports cars or specifically basketball, then you go with that. Okay? Or dream, I dream of being an architect. Then you can have architect around it stuff, right? So going with that, I want to show you how to get started with your rough draft. First of all, you decide whether it's going to be like this or like this. Most people choose landscape. Put your dot in the middle. It can be over here if you're doing kind of a graffiti lettering, which I'll explain in a moment. And then you kind of decide where your letters need to be. Okay. Then from there, I need to design my letters. So you could do simple block lettering but that's a lot of curves. So just kind of think about what kind of interesting thought, fonts you can do. And you can, there's many on the computer that you can look up. So that's a different way of doing it, right? See? So now you're, you're trying different things. The thing that's different here then when we did spirals is we, for the sake of practicing, I let you go ahead and take the lines all the way to the point. In this case, we're leaving some space there. So, um, when you draw this out, let's start with the yard. I lightly put in my line to all the edges there. And then those were all the edges I needed. Then I kind of decide where it needs to end. And whatever shape I created here is the same shape. See? That's the same curve here as in the back. So whatever shape is here, I got to do the same shape here. This is curve here, this curve here. And then I just go ahead and erase. So I'm going to check the length there and double check. And it looks like it ends about there for that one. So Essentially, you're putting out all your letters and then you're trying to figure out perspective wise where it goes. So I'm going to try this one now. And what if you don't know what to do with a certain letter and I'm not there to help you? Well, you could just move the letter somewhere else and see if it works out better in another section. I will say that in your chapter four reading, I already did these words in one point perspective. So if you think you're going to have a really hard time trying to figure out one point perspective, you could just use one of mine. All right. So I, I think I'm going to end it here. So I match that parallel line to here. See, that's parallel to there. And then I try to match the curve to the curve I did there. Okay. This is very long, so I don't have to worry about ending that one. And then I would erase it. All right, so you can imagine I would do the same with the next few letters. From there, you're trying to figure out your shapes. So in it, I had a pencil, so I was shaping the pencil. Can it go behind things? Yeah, you can overlap. Overlapping is perfectly fine. You can see this is behind these. And it, pro it get actually helps to make it look more dynamic. So then from there, rough draft wise, you're trying to figure out where everything is going to going to go and then that too also goes to the same point all of the diagonals need to go to the same point so for your rough draft you only need one rough draft you need to show me the word it needs to have at least five objects that go with the word pencil eraser paintbrush that's three right there and then I added two more splatters there that brought me up to five and then you need five regular geometric shapes. So I did stars, diamond, and a little happy face over here. So altogether, there needs to be 10 shapes. 
plus the word, not the word and say five more shapes. It's the word plus 10 shapes. Okay. And then you'll be ready to start the final. Thank you and good luck.